first video of the week with my amazing co-star Nevaeh Melvin, aka Baby Snowflake. Uh oh, starting to rain. Are those raindrops I see? Are those raindrops I see, Nevaeh? First step: take Nevaeh to daycare so I can go drop my load off. Tell them, Nevaeh. Tell them. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, fellas. If if you rock with your boy Big Snow and, and my new co-star, Baby Snowflake. Nevaeh has on that big coat because I, I, I don't know where her other coat's at. This coat right here is a little too big. It's like a it's like an 18-month coat. See, she's actually a year old, 13 months. What's should be exactly 13 months on February. No, not no March 23rd. Her first birthday just passed. Ain't that right, Nevaeh? All right, so make sure y'all leave it in the comments and tell Nevaeh a happy belated birthday. I would say bright and early, but it's uh eight nineteen. Running a little late. It's all good. I had to get some rest this morning. I was tired. Hey, rate rate my tarp job. One out of ten. Rate my tarp job. Drywall. That's all it is. There's the rain, fellas. There's the rain. Only bad thing about the rain right now is if it's still raining, when I get to the place, I gotta untarp in the rain. Then I'm gonna get wet. Last time I came to this place, they had all kind of mess out here. Foundation building materials, Durham, North Carolina. Yeah, they changed it up. I'm glad they did, cause there wasn't no room out here. Back at Blue Links, I was here last week. I picked up that two-stop load, going to Jacksonville, and somewhere else, I forgot the name of it, Sneeze Ferry, right outside Wilmington. This is why I like coming to this place. Hey, five minutes, I'm already done, man. I got a same that delivered this thing to Greenville, North Carolina. Hey, too easy today. Too easy. Came home empty. Did two loads. Came home empty. Reload in the morning. Another one bites the dust. So I did one load that I picked up in Georgetown yesterday. Georgetown, South Carolina. Load of drywall, took it to Durham, North Carolina. Dropped that this morning. And I didn't leave the house till like 8.30. Dropped that off, picked up my reload in Butner, North Carolina. Took that to Greenville, North Carolina. I got empty about three o'clock. Dispatch called me, they offered me a load picking up in Grifton, going to Mount Holly. Turned it down. Any other time I would have took it, 
But after I had already done two loads a day, I didn't feel like dealing with that place because you got to go there. You got to get in line, especially in the afternoon. Get in line. Never know how many trucks is in front of you. And it's, and it's tarp lumber. Going to Mount Holly, Mount Holly, North Carolina. So I, so by the time I would have picked that load up, tarped it, whatever, I wouldn't have been able to make it home till it's 519 right now. And I came home empty. And it was in the same area. It was like 30 minutes from Greenville. So 519. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. 519 right now came home empty. If I would have came home, if I would have got that load, then came home with it, probably wouldn't have got home until about 7, 7.30. Then would have had to get up in the morning, drive to Mount Holly, and that's about a three-hour drive from where I live at. Mount Holly's right outside of Charlotte. Too much, especially for the rate that it was paying. So I ended up getting another load of shingles, which I'll pick up in the morning, that same day delivered and it pays more than the tarp lumber yeah so if you work at pns hey don't be afraid to turn loads down don't be afraid turn that damn load down when i first started at pns i used to i used to run whatever they offer me i never turn loads down i'll tell you what this load of shingles i'm picking up shingles no tarp it pays a hundred dollars more than the tarp lumber so yeah, I did the right thing. Plus I came home empty. Plus I'm picking it up tomorrow and same day delivering it. So I'm not missing out on no money. I just got to the house. Let me go on here and see what my daughter doing. We're gonna do a baby test and see if Nevaeh can get off that couch by herself. She wanna act up. Why you acting up? Why you acting up? Hey, why you acting up? Get up. All right, I'm going to leave you in here by yourself. Leave you in here by yourself. Yeah. All right, bye. We're not gonna sleep on the couch all day. That's not that's that's what we that's what we're not gonna do. We don't sleep on the couch all day. No. You don't sleep on the couch all day. No. 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 supposed to be King Kong. <laughs> Get out of there. Out of there. So this is what we about to do. Look, you see that crib? Nevaeh has never slept in that damn crib. Ain't nothing in there but toys. And the other stuff. <clears throat> Get out of that drawer. Get out. Get out of that drawer. Move. Stop, girl. Stop. So I keep baskets in front of the drawer so she can't get to it. Look. She trying to move it. So this one I'm about to do, fellas. This one ain't too bad. But this one right here, I'm about to go through these clothes and take out all her six-month clothes that she can't wear no more. Six, nine-month clothes. This one, too. We got to go through this stuff. 
put it in a trash bag, give it to my sister. Cause she got a daughter that's, uh, I think my sister's daughter, maybe five or six months. Put that bag down. Hey, as long as she over there quiet, she all right. Looks better than it did. That was it. Sleep. Sleep. 